here we are in the sunny Blue Mountains on a crisp winter's morning and we've got Michael Hull with us this morning. Good morning Michael, how are you? Yes, good morning Vince and welcome to the Lower Blue Mountains and Thanks. good morning uh, everybody from the club and uh, let's have a bit of a look at what's in my garage today. Yeah, well this looks beautiful. Tell us about this. Uh, CLK280, having a go, uh, spec'd up with AMG, uh, AMG gear, it's got the Zeno lights, it's got the 3 litre engine, uh, one of the last of the uh, 2 road lines before they change the body shape. Effectively it's done around about 95,000 k's and we've had it for about 4 years now. Well it is just beautiful isn't it? Lovely colour, and the colour is something that appealed to us. Um, all of the vehicles are original, and um, yeah, it's a lovely car to drive, especially on a day like today. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at the inside, Mike. So, black on black. Comfortable seats. Very comfortable seats. It's got the lumbar support in them as well. Oh, right. And uh, the uh, and the handy couple of seats in the back there. I see. Yes, they don't get used very much. <laughs> Not, you have to have very short legs. Not a lot of room there. Yeah. What do they say? Small child. But it's got a nice rest there. You've got You're the wind. Used as a, as a two seater. Right. Yeah. So you've had this about four years, do you know what you've we've, got on the clock? We've had it for four years, it's got 95,000 on it. Right. And um, we've used it for a couple of trips to Queensland and back and just normally the Sunday drives and so forth. Yeah, well, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's in beautiful yeah. condition. We're the second owner, we uh, searched far and wide to try and find one of the last ones that were available. And especially with all the upgrades and uh, the additional items. Well, you certainly did well there. I mean, AMG wheels for a start. Yep. Yeah, a little I mean, bit. That'd of, do me. A little, little bit of uh, gutter rush there, but we've just put some new tyres on, and I'm hoping to um, get the rims repaired or repainted in the original factory colour uh, somewhere down the future. Right. Yeah. And it's got the AMG styling kit. Yes, yeah, it's got the boot. Um, it's got the body kit. The boot spoiler comes with the exhaust. Not very much room in the boot, as we all know, if you've got a convertible. Well, look, you know, with these convertibles, if you're going away for the weekend, at least you can get a couple of soft bags in there. Plus, you've got a bit of room behind your main uh, driver's seat to put some gear, haven't you? Yeah, that's correct. You've got the full-size spare. Oh, all right. That's still the original tyre that came with it. But because they're both, uh, different sizes, front and rear, it's just the... Uh, the smaller 225. Right. So this is a, a 3 litre V6? 3 litre V6 with the 272 engine. That's the 280. Well, look, you know, I mean, that's got to drive beautifully because there's not a lot of weight in these cars. That's right, it's got the, the like, little gearbox and yeah, Certain, it's beautiful. Yeah, it doesn't have the heavy roof, so. Uh, this has got a canvas roof that comes up from out the back there, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Look at that, that's just sumptuous. Wide, big wide doors, easy access, yep. passengers, uh, multi adjustable seats for the base and the back and the headrest. And they're, the, they're heated seats, aren't they? They're heated seats as well, yep, and it's got the ash tree black. Uh, timber, yeah. so, which is very, very nice. That's beautiful, Heated isn't it? Seats, yeah. Heated seats, as well, yeah. Terrific. And the Duco's looking pretty good at that. Look at the reflection yeah. there. Very nice. That's a gorgeous car. I, this really caught my eye when I saw Mike at a recent uh, event, and I thought I must come and see him and have a good look at the CLK because it's a beautiful version. What lies beneath? Here we are. Now 
Now, what about working on these motors, Mike? Do you do this sort of work yourself? What's your background? Um, oh, sorry, wrong side. <laughs> um, I'm a mechanic by trade. I, I did my apprenticeship with York Star Motors at Joint Avenue, and I've been with Mercedes-Benz for oh, 25, over 25 years, um, working in dealerships and, and also at the distribution centre there at Ashford Avenue. So. As far as working on it, I pretty much do it all myself. <laughs> you lucky yeah. man. So, yeah, got the knowledge there. Um, some of the stuff you have to be a little bit careful nowadays uh, when you start getting into electronics because so much electronics in the latest cars. Yeah, class. sure. But that's why this sort of thing appealed to me as well. It's not going outside a realm where you need to have a computer to change the oil or do the brakes. You can do a lot of this stuff. Um, if you know what you're doing. Yeah, a lot of the everyday stuff yourself. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Excellent. Well, congratulations, Mike, because that's a beautiful car. Um, but I see that there's also something else. A little tiny ML over there. Yes. Let's have a look yeah. at that, shall we? Okay.